สวัสดีครับ I'm JP m i s t a n z a It's Wednesday, January 4th. Welcome to Phuket Extra, brought to you by PPCPhuket.com. An influx of Chinese tourists is unlikely during the coming Lunar New Year holiday, as not enough flights can be added in such a short time. While larger tour groups are still awaiting an official announcement from the Chinese government. According to the president of the Association of Thai Travel Agents, the ATTA, only small groups of friends and families are expected to travel when entry restrictions on the mainland are lifted on January 8th, as direct flights remain limited, with prices much higher than pre-pandemic rates of 10,000 to 20,000 baht. The president of the ATTA said that those who can travel immediately are tourists with valid passports. While those holding expired passports must queue up for the renewal process, which might take longer than the usual 10-day period, as many people in China have invalid travel documents following three years of lockdowns. However, Thailand refusing to test arrivals from China for COVID should help market sentiment among China's tourists. For more, visit the PhuketNews.com. An investigation is now underway into the death of a couple in their mid-60s. Who died after their motorbike with a sidecar or s a l e n g was struck by a speeding vehicle near the Tep Citizen Bridge near Sapanhin on the east side of Phuket town early Tuesday morning. The Phuket Blood Bank at Vashida Phuket Hospital and the Phuket chapter of the Red Cross are inviting Thais and foreigners to donate blood at various locations across the island throughout the month of January. Specifically, officials are calling for a boost in reserves of critically needed Rh negative blood, which is vital for treating foreigners injured in road accidents on the island. The Phuket Blood Bank announced their schedule for mobile blood donation clinics across the island for this month, which is now on your screen. Inquiries about the mobile blood clinics can be made to the Phuket Blood Bank at Vashida Phuket Hospital at the number on your screen. For more, visit the phuketnews.com. Phuket is being considered as a pilot province for organic tourism, with a Thai Organic Consumer Association known as Toka. Looking to connect hotels and consumers with farmers through digital technology and incentive reward programs, according to the Bangkok Post. The president of Toka told reporters that if hotels and other businesses adopt technology, it would add a level of information transparency to the organic product ecosystem. The e-commerce marketplace that Toka has developed brings farmers and businesses like hotels and restaurants together, so that farmers have a direct line to sell their organic products to such businesses, and buyers can trace their products through the system. All meant to prevent greenwashing and exploitation. The Tourism Authority of Thailand and Toka previously worked together to drive organic tourism through its platform here on the island. Since 2021, while the island was setting up the Phuket Sandbox Scheme to bring tourists back to Phuket. Following the COVID-19 travel restrictions, most of Phuket's agricultural products are from Ratchaburi Province, according to the Bangkok Post. And the platform is meant to help farmers from nearby provinces like Krabi and Pangya to find ways to work in Phuket. For more, visit the link in the description. Thanks for watching us on this Wednesday edition of Phuket Extra, brought to you by PVCPhuket.com. Join us again tomorrow. Until then, stay classy, Phuket. 
Phuket's rapid modernization has made it one of the world's premier holiday destinations. Investors can still buy quality condominiums for as low as 75,000 US dollars and luxury properties can go all the way up to 20 million. Condominiums in Phuket are a safe, secure bricks and mortar investment offering foreigners freehold ownership. Call or email Thai Residential, Phuket's number one trusted real estate advisor to find your perfect Phuket property.